Welcome folks to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be checking out one of my favorite plasma weapons perfect for you rifleman bills. That's right we're going to be checking out the anti-armor plasma sniper rifle. But before we head on over and check out the weapon and if you're new to the channel consider clicking that subscribe button so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. And if you like today's video make sure to give it a like so that more people in the Fallout community can see this. So without any further ado let's get into it. Before we do some testing and showcase how powerful this weapon can be, let's take a look at the mods for the gun and run through some of the stats that will help best utilize this build. So starting off with the mods, we have the Prime Capacitor for increased damage and bonus damage against Scorched, the Stabilized Sniper Barrel for superior recoil, the Stabilized Stock for superior recoil and also the Long Scope for superior magnification and increased accuracy. And as you can see, the roles we have is the Anti-Armor Effect with VATS Criticals dealing plus 50% damage and your VATS Critical Meters fill 15% faster. Now let's take a look at the special stats and perk cards for the build. With your special stats, these will mainly be the special points you want to allocate as we'll mainly be going for a low health bloodied rifleman build. So if you want to pause the video here, you can go ahead and do so. And for the perk cards, if you'd like to pause the video here so you can get an overview of the build, you can go ahead and do so. But the main cards you want to focus on is max rank of all of the rifleman perk cards, along with max rank of tank killer and also max rank of concentrated fire. Max rank of ironclad for increased damage and energy resistance in the instance your character breaks sneak, so you'll have that extra beefiness while being at low health. Max rank of chem resistance, you gain complete immunity to chems, as we'll be taking overdrive and psychotats with this build. Max rank of suppressor to reduce your target's damage output by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack. Max rank of tenderizer, so your target receives 10% more damage after you attack. Max rank of action boy, so your action points regenerate 45% faster. Max rank of covert operative, so your range sneak attacks deal plus 50% extra damage. Max rank of better critical, so your VATS criticals deal 100% extra damage. Four leaf clover, so that your VATS critical meters fill faster and critical savvy so that your critical hits only consume 85% of your critical meter. And for the legendary perk cards which are going to help boost your stats, we have max rank of legendary luck and charisma, we also have max rank of far flung fireworks, max rank of legendary strength and agility and also max rank of follow through for 40% increase to sneak attack damage for 10 seconds. The armor we're also going to be utilizing with this build is a full set of unyielding armor and for a full list of legendary effects on each piece I'll leave that in a pinned comment below in this video. And lastly for our chem and aid buffs we'll be using overdrive for a plus 15% damage increase and also a plus 30% increase to our critical damage for 3 minutes. Psychotats to give us a 25% increase to damage for 3 minutes. Blackberry honey crisp to help with our AP regen. Light soup to give us an additional 100% damage to our critical damage. Tato juice to help boost our AP and also guns and bullets 9 to give our plasma guns an additional 100% to our critical damage and finally we'll be using the 25% additional sneak buff that you can receive from the new ally Leo Petrov by giving him a Nuka Cola Dark which lasts for one hour and also to add you can only do this once every 24 hours. Now that we've covered your special stats, perk cards and also the mods for the gun let's go and test this weapon out in some of the enemies that Appalachia has to offer. And for our first test subject today who is gonna be Swan the Behemoth? Oh he was walking around and now he's getting back up. Let's go down and see exactly how he's getting on today so let's uh let's go for the head so there we go and he is gone <laughs> there you go there you go thank you so much swan the behemoth you are no more you are now just a green glowing pile of goop thank you so much all right let's go on to our next test subject which is going to be the miler queen down at the cranberry bog Let's go over. Let's do it. And here we go. We are down at the sunrise field. We got a few Mylurks here that we need to take care of. So let's try and get rid of these first. Whereabouts are they? We've got... Oh, actually, no. Never mind. They're going over and they're uh, they're dealing with... Oh, actually, we do. <laughs> let's take out this Myler. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Only two shots and he was gone. Awesome. You got to love that. You got to love it. All right. Let's quickly wake up the queen and see how she's getting on today. All right. And let's go for the head. Go for the head. And, oh, we need to reload. Need to reload real quick. Oh, 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 oh. So I gotta get back into vats. There we go. Oh, she's almost dead. <laughs> there we go. Now she's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's the one downside about this weapon. It's just the amount of ammo that's actually in the, uh, in the chamber. That's the only thing I will say. But other than that, it is definitely pretty powerful. Let's try and get the last of these Mylurks here. We'll get you. One shot to the head. And lastly, one shot to the head. And is there any more? Where's that king gun? Is he still running around? Ah, uh, he's a little bit busy over there. Oh, he's coming back over. He's coming back over. He's coming back over to defend his friends. Let's try quickly get him. There you go. <laughs> 1,509. Definitely, definitely pretty awesome. Alrighty, let's hop on over here to our last test subject, which are gonna pretty much going to be some Scorch Beasts, so we can uh, test out that lovely Prime Capacitor. So let's do it. Let's hop on over. 
And here we go, folks. We're down at the Cranberry Bog. Down at Dropside V9. Let's try and take on this Scorch Beast here. Let's go. Let's try and get him before he regenerates. No, no. Oh, he regenerated. Let's go again. Let's go again. We've got some Scorch who are attacking us here as well. We have lost our sneaking ability. We're still tanking a lot of that damage as well, which is pretty good. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of server lag. <laughs> Don't take the server lag into consideration. It's pretty much a one-shot hit when it comes to uh, the likes of the Scorched here. Let's try and finish these off before uh, he lands again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, we got one of our weeklies done. Let's finish this guy off. And then also as well, let's finish off this, uh, this Scorched Beast. Put it into his misery. There you go. Awesome. And then also, oh, we got one more. One more. Oh, can we get to the head? Oh, we lost it in Vats. We lost it in Vats. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. There you go. One shot. <laughs> Alrighty. I think we've pretty much proven the power of this weapon. I think it's time we uh, wrap this video up and head on out of here. Oh, actually, before we do, we've got some super mutants. We've got two of them. Hang on real quick. Oh, oh we'll get him and we'll also get him. <laughs> oh, we've got one more. Wow. It's a party down here. <laughs> So there we go. Awesome. All right, folks, let's wrap this video up. Let's hop on out of here. Let's do it. Let's go. And there you have it, the Anti-Armor Plasma Sniper Rifle. Hopefully today's video helped you utilize the weapon a little bit better in the wasteland, and hopefully it won't take you too long to roll one with the similar effects yourself. And if you found today's video enjoyable, consider clicking that subscribe button for more Fallout content like this, and so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. I want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers over here on YouTube, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. For our Bethesda fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and you'd like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE121 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, consider checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, and other pineapple-related merch, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.